Hey, how are you doing, my friends, my brothers, my sisters? Welcome to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. My name is Brother Brian, and today, or rather tonight, is May 1st, 2022. I didn't get to say Happy May to you all. We have entered a new month. I didn't get to say that on the previous video, but nonetheless, welcome to May. This month is going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. God is going to do many, many things as he always does in my experience, in my personal life. <laughs> May has always been very special. Now, guess what? I just heard today, praise the Lord, that Hank Kuhneman, his birthday is actually the same date as my wife's. <laughs> That's something I just learned, which is very exciting. Now you're probably wondering, well, what date is that? Okay, well, for those of you paying attention, <coughs> Hank Kuhneman's and my wife's birthday are both on May 10th. So I'll probably mention that the day of, maybe the day before or whatnot. Uh, but some of you may have wanted to know that, so praise the Lord. Not only because of that, but in my experience, May has always been an awesome, awesome month. <laughs> Another powerful month that I have always seen is August. For whatever reason, that number, that, that uh, being the eighth month, the month of new beginnings, I have had pretty awesome, not only experiences, but just uh, life events. So I'm looking forward to that as well, but we know God is working in the midst, regardless of the month, regardless of the calendar, every day, the Lord is at work. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very short prophetic word by Prophet Charlie Shamp of Destiny Encounters. Um, that is the name of his ministry. All right, now. The date of this word is, let's see here, and let's get this right. All right, the date of this word is March 24th. So we're looking at a little bit about five weeks ago or so. Now, it's not, um, it's not often that I find a written prophetic word of Charlie Shamp, so I got curious, <coughs> looked on his website, and this is what I found. It's not, um, it's less than two months old, so I figured this would be good, something short, something bite-sized to bring to you and something kind of different. Amen? All right, so this prophetic word is entitled, A Day of Reckoning. And it reads as follows. <clears throat> Recently, I fell into a trance and heard the Lord say, I'm bringing my hammer of justice to shattering to shatter the pl their plans for a new world order. America, you are in an awakening, but a day of reckoning to reverse the curse in the land is coming. Watch and see how I reorder the steps of the house and set in place those that I have called to sit in the Senate. I will restore and bring your redemption to the things that the enemy has done to your nation. Now we have to understand that whenever the Lord speaks, even if the Lord were to bring judgment, there is always a redemptive purpose behind it. This is something that I Remember hearing from many seasoned prophets and servants of God. And I still remember when I heard this, how it just entered into my soul. And I've hung on to that and I've remembered it. So I'm repeating it to you that you may also know. When it is God and when it is God's spirit speaking through someone, because there are there, yes, there are many who claim to hear from God but yet their words are doom and gloom and there's no side of hope anywhere in the word. Woe unto those. And of course, God have mercy for they believe they're hearing from God. But yet God always has a redemptive plan and purpose in the words he gives 
and he speaks. All right, so this will be a good uh, tool in your discernment toolbox to use often and to keep in mind. Amen. I say to you, America, you will go from recession to resurgence, from survival to revival. Think it not strange that you are facing turbulent. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Think it not strange that you are facing turbulent times and it seems tragedy is at every turn. For I am, even now, turning things around. You will hear the clear sound of the trumpet of triumph the sound of the trumpet the good report the roar like the waves of the ocean tide when it turns the roar like the lion when it overtakes its prey a roar of breakthrough truth and justice to shift the spiritual atmosphere and break barriers of darkness suddenly Whoa. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Suddenly, I saw, this is Charlie speaking, of course, suddenly I saw whirlwinds. Now, in the Bible, whirlwinds can are, are equated with the Lord sending a whirlwind. And it is what we would we could call today a tornado. All right. Yes, okay. Suddenly, I saw whirlwinds touching down in D.C., in Washington, D.C., and heard the Lord say, For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Whoa. Wow. That right there is the prophetic word very short, full of hope, warning, yes, but God is telling us in advance. And Prophet Charlie Champ is a wonderful man of God. And he resides, if you didn't know, in Moravian Falls, North Carolina, and has some great, great stuff. So hopefully you will feel free to visit. Look in the description. I will put the information where you can find out more about Charlie Champ in case you have not heard him. Amen. So he has a wonderful ministry. He was even on Elijah's Streams just this past Thursday, which I believe was April 28, 2022. All right. So check that out. He did have a powerful, powerful word. Hopefully the transcript of that will be released very soon by Elijah's Dreams, and when that happens, I can come back and give you a recap, a synopsis of what the Lord spoke. But there is one thing he spoke. Now, I can't recall exactly what the sign will mean. Maybe some of you remember, and you can leave it in the description, but I do know that the Lord told him that there will be a major sign happening, a sign of a double rainbow over the White House. And it will symbolize something. Now, in general, the rainbow, spiritually speaking, right, in, uh, from the Lord, symbolizes promises. His promise to you. And it also symbolizes new beginnings. Because the rainbow came about when the Lord opened Noah's Ark and the eight that he saved, right? Eight, that's where we get eight, is symbolic of new beginnings, biblically speaking. And the rainbow was put in the sky, not only as a sign to Noah, to, for God promising, saying he will never destroy, notice, destroy the earth by flood. He didn't say there would never be any floods. Obviously, there have been floods. He would never destroy the earth by a flood. And he said, I will put my bow in the sky. And that was connected with, associated with God's promise. And if you didn't know, God's rainbow has seven colors, not like the group, all right, not like the ABC group 
who only have six. And how interesting, because the spirit of deception behind it, which is of the devil, uses the number six. The number of man. The number of sin. Amen. And of course, in the future, 666, in reference to the Antichrist. So, that spirit is what is behind, <coughs> excuse me, behind that deception. Now, we love those people because God loves them. But God will do what he must do. We just pray for them and we just love on them. Amen. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So, praise the Lord. I'm going to leave it at that. Nice and short. This is a rare thing here on this channel, right? But I hope you enjoyed this short clip. Amen. As always, if you haven't subscribed just yet, that would be a blessing completely free to you. Doesn't even cost you a thing. Hit subscribe, tap your notifications, turn them all on, and leave a comment because it helps to spread the good news, the hope, and what God is saying through his prophets, as well as what the Lord is teaching and sharing through me from my 21-year walk with the Lord in the supernatural. And more specifically, the last four years since I truly surrendered, where, where I have grown in the last four years more than in the previous 17 combined. That is how much of an impact and a difference it makes when you surrender to God. Surrender your life, surrender your dreams, surrender your will, your desires, your goals to God. You may even find out once you do that certain desires that you had that you gave up and you lay at his feet, that they were part of the equation anyway. But it was what mattered, it's you being willing to humble yourself and to give it up for him. Hallelujah. God is so good. <laughs> Amen. So that is that. And I hope this video, <laughs> I hope this video blessed you and that your week will be full of joy and peace and abundant grace. Don't forget every morning, <laughs> greet the Lord in the morning, invite him into your day and ask for abundant grace for the day. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video.